Hey Tim, this is Frank over at Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video uh, showing some specific things that you guys can do yourselves to help bring in more business just by better utilizing both your website and your Google Business Profile. I saw that you guys were uh, doing some direct mailing, so I just thought I'd send this over. Uh, but uh, you guys do uh, HVAC in Greenville, so I, just, I ran a quick Google search on HVAC Greenville NC, and here are the search results that come up. And since 90% of the people never click past the first page, you're going to want to try to get into as many sections of this page as possible since you are looking to grow the business. Uh, so the first section here is the advertising section. If you're not looking to pay Google advertising dollars, then you're going to want to focus on getting into the second and third section. So I see you guys are in the second section, the map pack, which is great. Uh, so then really what you want to do is make sure you get into the third section here. And so this is called the organic listings, and it's based on Google ranks you guys based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. Uh, so once you get past Angie's list and Yelp, you start to get down to actual business websites. Uh, so I wanted to compare your content and backlinks profile to Jackson and Sons, which is the number one ranked uh, HVAC company as far as websites go in the Greenville area. All right, so just looking at your uh, site here, um, one thing I wanted to point out is that Google looks for 1,500 to 2,000 words on the home page for them to consider you an authoritative site or an expert in the niche. So you have less than that. So I would consider adding more content to the site, but you don't want to just add any content. It's very important that the content be dense in what's known as local buyer intent keyword phrases. These are the words that people are actually frequently typing into the Google search bar and the phrases that you actually want your site to be found for. So the more the key, these keywords are mentioned in your content, the more, relevant's gonna, the more relevant Google will see your site to the search phrase. Uh, so you'll see a lot of companies will use like uh, service pages or location pages uh, because it allows them to use these local buyer intent keyword phrases more frequently uh, in their content, which allows, uh, again, Google to match up your content to what is being searched for. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So I use this tool here called Arifs uh, to look at different websites. So here's your website and I can see that you're currently ranking for 209 keyword phrases. So as just like everybody else, uh, the first couple uh, that you rank for or the highest rankings that you have are when somebody's Googling your business directly. Um, but then you get down and you start going through these and you can see this one here, HVAC Greenville NC, that is a local buyer intent keyword phrase. Uh, it's currently searched 200 times per month on average uh, and you're currently ranking in the 14th position. So that's really kind of like page middle of page two. Uh, so again, you want to rank for uh, as many local buyer intent keyword phrases as possible. So you, I wanted to show you, here's a good example, Jackson Sons, they, as you can see here up at the top here, um, they're actually using a ranking for a back page. So they have their homepage, jacksonandsons.com, then a service area uh, menu, and then Greenville and NC as, uh, as kind of a back, a sub back page. And that allows them to use these local buyer intent keyword phrases. They build these into their content so that it's very clear to Google what they are trying to be found for. And so you can see here by being, uh, by, you can see their position. So they're ranking in the top five for each of these keyword phrases. And by being there, they're able to participate in some percentage of all this volume. So, you know, you're talking about over 500 searches per month just on those phrases. And if you continue to scroll down, you know, there's, there's a lot more. So, that's, that's the beauty of being on page one. You're on page one right now in the map pack, but if you can get into the organic section on the first page, you're going to double, basically double. If you're towards the top of the organics, you can basically double the amount of traffic coming to your site and allow you to grow your business uh, pretty quickly. So that's what I wanted to show you on content. It's about the amount of content that you have. It's also about the uh, amount that, uh, of these local buyer intent keyword phrases and how frequently you're able to embed them into your content. All right, and then the last thing that I mentioned that I wanted to talk about was your backlinks profile. So backlinks are just links from other websites over to your website. And they give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as an endorsement of your site. And so pretty soon here your site's gonna load. So you wanna beat your competitor in the amount of backlinks that you have. Google's a popularity contest. So uh, it's important that you have more backlinks uh, from more and more referring domains uh, than your competitors. Uh, but you don't want to just have any backlinks. It's important that you are linking your site to more authoritative sites or trustworthy sites uh, in Google's eyes, uh, as opposed to some spammy sites. Um, 
So you really want to look at uh, getting, when you link to a, a competitor, or I'm sorry, not a competitor, but you link to another site, you want to be able to link to the ones that have the higher DR scores. That's the trust score with Google. So, you know, a good site has a, a DR score of 30 or higher, um, and that's really what you want to be doing. So if you link to those, you're going to increase your DR on your site, as well as increase your backlinks uh, portfolio. So you can see your competitor doesn't really have any backlinks to this sub sub page, um, but they do have a high DR score and that's really coming, that's power from their, uh, their homepage. Um, but they are getting, because of the way their content is laid out and because of the power that they do get from the homepage, they are getting 92 uh, clicks per month uh, through the organic search over to their site. Yours is showing 130 uh, per month, but again, if you don't have, if a lot of these uh, keywords that you have in here are uh, either directly from you, you can see a lot of your traffic is coming from when somebody's Googling you directly. Um, and then some of these other ones are more national keyword phrases, so they're not necessarily coming from buyers that are ready and looking for your service or able to purchase your service, especially if they're, you know, seeing you coming up on a search and a uh, search, um, that they do and they're on the other side of the country, for example. So that's why it's so important to have these local buyer intent keyword phrases. Anyway, I hope that was that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, if you do, or if you are able to, to do those things, you know, you will be ranking high on this, uh, this organic section here. And like I said, be able to participate and uh, doubly participate because you're already here in the map pack. Uh, on all that search traffic that I had showed you. Again, any questions, reach out. Um, if you wouldn't mind just responding to my email to let me know that you saw the video and whether you found it helpful or not, or if you think there's other information that would be of value to you guys uh, that I could add to future videos that will help me to continue to add value to small businesses. So thank you. Uh, have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.